All right, this is the big reveal. Just bought this yesterday from a friend in Detroit. It's a 92 Oldsmobile 98. Um, got a pretty good deal on it, so not disappointed at all. Um, the car's in pretty good shape. This rust really isn't that bad. And the underside's really good. But, yeah, I picked it up yesterday um, with the help of Nate and Brian Peterson. Um, we got it back to Nate's house. And here she is. Um, so let's take a look at it, I guess. It needs a couple cosmetic things, but it's in pretty good shape overall. Definitely a good beginning of a project, I guess. Like I said, it's got a little bit of rust, but the underside's solid. All the important shit, anyway. But, I got this from a guy whose grandmother had it, and... I guess she couldn't drive it no more, and he wanted to sell it off to someone that would appreciate it, and that's how I ended up with it. Paid a per a decent price for it. I got it under a thousand bucks, so I'm not complaining. Um, it's in really nice shape. Got a little bit of rust over there. Other than that. Good looking car. We drove it an hour from Detroit to Toledo. And there was no problems at all the whole way here. starts right up and had a bunch of work done to it before I got it. Oh, it runs really good. I don't know why it says the tail lamps out. Everything works on the back. I don't know if there's a way to reset this or not. But the digital gauges is pretty cool. If you what is this? reset it maybe. It's got all this techno technology shit. Very similar to that Oldsmobile 88 I looked at years ago. It's got all these different things. Got the original factory Delco radio has the digital climate control, automatic transmission. I'm not sure how you get the tachometer to work, but it does have a tachometer that shows up right here. And the AC works. <coughs> AC was recently done, I believe. Everything works in it. Transmission shifts fine. It 
It's got this steering wheel cover on it. A couple of these buttons are missing, but kind of happens with a lot of these Oldsmobiles. It's got the ashtray with a bunch of stuff in it. You got the all the original paperwork for it from the day it was new to now. It has the original window sticker. This was a $26,000 car in the day. The owner's book. All the service records are in there. This car was definitely a good find. It runs really good. It's got a bit of an exhaust leak. But Don't sound that bad really. It's got power windows. Some of these switches are messed up. But the passenger one works. And the important window works. The important one's actually auto. I haven't figured out how these if the back ones are not working, but I don't know. They don't work for some reason. But got power seats, power mirrors, power locks. Yeah, this is a pretty loaded up car. Got the center console still. The CVS card in it. Here's the cup holders. Yeah, it's not a bad little car. We got the auto dimming mirror. The uh, Dimmable uh, mirror lights. I don't know why this is not wanting to focus right, but it's being stupid. But yeah. I'm still getting used to this new phone I got. Alright. But yeah. It's a really nice running car. It's got power locks. All the doors closed solid. Like I said, it has a little bit of rot, but nothing that I can't work around. This is probably the worst of it right here. You got ashtrays in the back for your kids that smoke cigarettes. Power windows, which, oh, they do work. Cool. Now they get stuck, though. I'll mess with that in a minute. It's got the <coughs> lights. Anything in the pockets? Nope. It's got rear AC vents pretty nice it has this little fold out thing armrest yeah, this car is actually pretty comfortable back here yeah I gotta figure out how to get that back up but they do work but yeah Take a look under the hood, and I guess we'll pop the trunk too. Oh, I don't know, the fuel door pops open like that. Pretty big, roomy trunk, like any old full size car. Not as big as a town car, but still pretty big. I do have the uh, little lock that goes to that. It needs re riveted, I guess. One thing I wish this had was the trunk rack. You got the stickers on the back that I put on it. And overall, a really nice car. Got a couple dents right here. But these are plastic fenders and these things are everywhere in the junkyard still, so not too concerned about that. 
3800 Series 1, I believe. No leaks. Runs really good. A good car. These hood struts work really well. But yeah, it's a nice car. It ain't perfect, but you know what? Nothing in life's perfect. Because that's the way she goes. It's got the original GM floor mats. <coughs> Let's see if I can find it in here. It had the original, uh, whatchamacallit, wherever it ran off to. And it's the little trunk badge. And this is the trunk lock. The radio works. It needs a couple new speakers, but it works pretty good. Turn that off before we get copyrighted. <coughs> but yeah, for what I paid for this, it was definitely worth it. So yeah, so I gotta figure out how to get this back up. But yeah, pretty nice car for what I paid. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.